school gives you your start in life, what kind of job you get, what kind of house you live in, and what kind of person you become can all be affected by your education. These children in Slovakia are just starting out, but 15 feet above their heads, another group of children of the same age is already learning that they're seen as different, Roma children. The Slovak education system often keeps Roma and non-Roma children apart, either in different schools or separated within the same one, and the education the Roma children get is different too, different and inferior. Every one of these children is starting life with a disadvantage, and it's one they may never recover from. The curriculum they follow is two years behind the curriculum in, in mainstream schools. Amnesty International and its partner organizations are trying to change this by putting pressure on the Slovakian government. Roma children are continuously placed in uh, special schools for pupils with mild mental disabilities in uh, ethnically segregated uh, mainstream schools where they are also offered a substandard education. And activists from uh, the UK are here today to say that segregation is unacceptable, it is illegal, and uh, the government of Slovakia must take measures to end it now. Slovakia is not alone, though. The story is the same in country after country across Europe. Romani children who are put into special schools and classes, set up for those with mental disabilities, or in ethnically segregated schools where their education suffers. And this is despite rulings by the European Court of Human Rights that have specifically instructed three Council of Europe member states to stop it. This is the Czech Republic, where a ruling in 2007 instructed the government to change their education policies on the Roma, and other rulings have been made against Croatia and Greece. So far, Amnesty International says, little has changed. Currently, the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe is reviewing the progress made by the Czech, Croatian and Greek governments in making the changes asked of them by these rulings segregating Romani children and giving them inferior schooling violates their right to an education without discrimination. And Amnesty International believes that in the 21st century, this has to end. Actions must, must be taken as a, as a matter of priority here to ensure the full inclusion of Romani children into education. Um, this is very, very important and the governments themselves must understand this as soon as possible because what is happening is that we're putting together generations of children without a future. It's time now to actually unlock their future once and for all.